Hello everyone, Brendan McCauley with Humanum Project. For question and answer today, I'm just gonna share a question that I was asked from a high schooler after a presentation I gave. And the kid asked, Brendan, I don't get it. What's the difference between waiting to have sex until you're married and just repression? What's the difference? I don't get it. Well, one day I was sitting down with a friend that I hadn't seen in a while and we were sitting down on the couch catching up and he asked me, so Brendan, have you been sleeping around? Are you having sex before marriage? And I just replied, no, I'm not. And he immediately responded, bro, you're just repressing your biology. <laughs> if a person's not having sex or not having sex until they're married, are they just repressing their biology? I then gave him an example to show that's not always the case. I said, if I look at a woman with lust, which is to stop skin deep with how I see her, zoning in solely on sexual values, and in a sense, it's ripping her soul from her body by how I am looking at her, there will be a certain biological reaction that makes it feel like I need to repress or else I'm going to explode. If we view our sexual drive through the lens of that picture, lust, we will assume waiting until marriage or people not sleeping around is repressing biology. But depersonalizing the body, aka lust, and viewing others as a collection of body parts isn't normal. The biological reaction that happens in our body from lust isn't normal, it's not natural. There is another biological reaction that happens when we think about and see others through the gaze of love, not lust. For example, if I look at a woman, her sexuality, her femininity, as integral to her unique soul, and I expand and widen my vision to see her body holistically and personally, there will be a different biological reaction that doesn't make me think, I need to repress or it's impossible to wait until marriage, but rather the biological reaction integrated in love will trigger our stomachs to feel sick at the thought of sleeping around or using others and treating people like a piece of meat. You know, this biological reaction, love, will be compelled to honor, admire, and protect and be an awestruck wonder by the extraordinary beauty of human sexuality. And the desire to hook up will dissipate and will be filled by an all-consuming desire to give our body away exclusively to our future beloved spouse. Our biology integrated in love will have a great willingness to want to wait until marriage, safeguarding the heart of our future spouse. Look. I'm not saying waiting until marriage is something easy. <laughs> I'm definitely not saying that. But as we purify our passions, ordering them to God's great plan, we will see that waiting until marriage is not just this repression or burdensome or boring, but it's a heroic task and responsibility to love as God loves, which will ultimately bring about true sexual fulfillment. If you are curious about how to live God's plan for sexuality, subscribe to our channel and join us on this journey yeah. of learning and living the Creator's plan for life and love. God bless.